What's up guys, it's Yazzie Carter back with another video. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be telling you must watch Halloween movies for this year. Some of them are new, some of them are out, and then some of them are kind of older, but they're still must watches. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first one is Hubie Har. I don't know how you say that, Halloween. Here it'll be popping up on the screen. Um, so what it's about, it says it's October 31st in Salem, Massachusetts, in a town's eccentric devoted community volunteer and the good natured object of his fellow citizens derision. Derision? I don't know how that says. And meanest pranks finds himself in the midst of a real investigation for a real murderer. So it's like a murder investigation, but it, um, it's not too old. It came out two years ago, I want to say. So it's still pretty new and it's um, Adam Sandler. So it's a good movie to watch. <laughs> All of his movies are good movies. So I wouldn't put that on the list, even though it's a little bit older, but it's not too old. The next one is Night Books. And I actually really like this one. This one is also on Netflix. Um, my mom didn't really like it. She said it was kind of boring or it wasn't as good as she thought, but I liked it. I don't know. Um, I think it's a year old. So, yeah. But it's about a scary story fan, Alex, must tell a spine tingling tale every night or stay trapped with his new friend in a wicked witch's magical apartment forever. So, it's kind of um, more of a kid movie, but it's still interesting if you want to watch a good Halloween movie. So, yeah. The next one is A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. I thought this one was a really good one, and I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, I think it's about a year old. This one is also on Netflix. It's about uh, recruited by a secret society of babysitters. A high schooler battles the boogeyman and his monsters when they nab the boy she's watching on Halloween. Um, I thought it was a really good movie. Like, honestly, I'm not too into, like, fake story type things, but I thought that one was a really good movie, and I would definitely recommend it for you guys to at least check out, you know, at least once. <laughs> Somebody watching this video would like it. <laughs> the next one is The Curse of Bridge Hollow. This one is not out yet. It'll be on Netflix on October 14th, but you can write it down or make a note in your phone to check it out. It's, um... It looks like a really good movie by the trailer, but here's what it's about. It says, a man and his daughter must team up to save their town after an ancient and mischievous spirit causes Halloween decorations to come to life and wreak havoc. So I think it'll be a really good movie. Honestly, it seems like a really good movie. And um, by the trailer, I think that I will like it. Um, me and my family plan to watch it when it comes out so mark your calendar for october 14th you don't want to miss it <laughs> so the next one is hocus pocus 2 y'all probably already seen it because who don't like hocus pocus <laughs> um so if you haven't seen one make sure you go watch that first um i'm gonna state this right now on my opinion the first one was better um Nothing can top it. But the second one, it wasn't that good to me, honestly. I feel like it was kind of, it seemed, felt rushed to me. Like, I don't know, not necessarily rushed, but it seemed like it wasn't as top quality as it could could have been in 2022. But that's just my opinion. It was still a good movie overall, but it wasn't attention holding. And I don't know if I'm just too old for Hocus Pocus because I know the base storyline, but it it just wasn't attention holding for me. But oh, it's on Disney Plus by the way. But and here's what it's about. It says three young women accidentally bring back the Sanderson sisters to modern day Salem and must figure out how to stop the child hungry witches from wrecking havoc in the world. But it was actually two girls, 
So I don't know where they got the three girls from because the other girl wasn't there. But let me stop so y'all can actually watch it <laughs> if you haven't already. Like I said, it's on Disney Plus. I think it came out October 2nd. But it's on Disney Plus by the time you're seeing this video. <laughs> The next one is Countdown. It's not necessarily Halloween themed, but it's a horror movie. I say horror because it's not really that scary, but it's still an interesting movie that I thought I can add to this list. Um, so let me tell y'all what it's about. It's on Netflix. It says, when a nurse downloads an app that claims to predict exactly when the person is going to die, it tells her she only has three days to live. With time ticking away and a figure haunting her, she must find a way to save her life before time runs out. It was a really good movie in my opinion. Um, the only thing scary is like the jump scares and other than that, it's not really scary. So if you have kids, yes, they can watch it. It's not scary, scary. Well, younger kids, they might get scared because of the jump scares, but other than that, it's not really scary. Um, but it is a really good movie really good movie i liked it next one is halloween town if you haven't seen halloween town what are you doing like that is one of the best halloween movies still to this day in my opinion will always stay the same <laughs> until something tops it um i like twitches and all that too but this one is just like perfect so <laughs> Um, it's about Marnie and her kids get a big shock when they follow Grandma home to Halloween Town and find out they come from a family of witches. The town is only a place where supernatural beings can lead a normal life, but trouble is looming and on her 13th birthday, Marnie and not only finds she is a witch, but that she and her family are involved in a fight against the evil that is threatening her, wait, is threatening to take over the world. This one is also on Disney Plus, but I'm pretty sure by now you can probably find it on YouTube. Next is The Addams Family 2. This one is an attempt is about an in an attempt to grow closer as the Addams Family clan embark on an adventurous road trip and in a hideous and humongous camper. This one is on Amazon Prime. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you should have Amazon Prime Video, which you will be able to find it on there. If not, I probably, you can probably find it on YouTube for a couple dollars or some of the movies on YouTube are free. So yeah, the next one, it doesn't come out in October, but y'all, we gotta watch it. I'm a huge Addams Family fan, so I will patiently wait regardless of when it comes out. I didn't care if it comes out 10 years from now. <laughs> so this one is Wednesday which is Wednesday Adams so Wednesday Adams years as a student when she attempts to master her emerging psychic ability thwart and solve mysteries that embroiled her parents um, it comes out November 23rd and I'm super excited I love the Adams family I even love the black and white TV version I've always been an Adams family fan so anything they come out with I'm gonna watch it and probably love it so yeah and then last but definitely not least we have Corpse Bride and it is just super cute I love it um I don't know I love Tim Burton huge fan of Tim Burton so that's what it's about. Victor and Victoria's families have arranged their marriage. Though they like each other, Victor is nervous about the ceremony. While he's in a forest practicing his lines for the wedding, a tree branch becomes a hand that drags him into the land of the dead. It belongs to Anna Emily, who was murdered after eloping with her love and wants to marry Victor. He has to escape the forest in time in order to marry Victoria. So it's a cute, like, child romantic movie. It's cute, but um, this one is on Amazon Prime, or you can also watch it on YouTube. I know this one's free on YouTube because I was watching it the other day because it popped up in the recommended, and it's an overall good movie. So I was like, you know, let me watch it. <laughs> So yeah, that is pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and I will see you guys the next time I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. Peace.